I don't know if I should be saying that out loud in my YouTube videos. Should I be touching you with my bare hands? I don't know if that's right. Like it's a thick girl. Is that what I'm gonna name my firstborn child? Probably. I love that for me. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back or welcome for the first time if you are new here. My name is Lori Beth and today we are going to do an unboxing video together. This is the first one I have ever done. So I'm really excited because I got every book subscription last month, the month of February, and that's what we are going to look at together today. That will include Owl Crate, Fairy Loot, Adult and YA, and Illumicrate as well. Also, what we are going to do for today's video is go through each and every subscription box that I am a member of. I will open each box individually. I will go over the theme for the month of February for that specific box, and then we will look at the book together, and also I will read the synopsis of the book so you can get a better understanding of what that book is even about. So without further ado, I think we should just go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I have my boxes over here on the table. So I peeked at them, but some of them are still like completely wrapped in the plastic. So we will be going through this together, like fresh from the box. Um, and I think we are going to start with Illumicrate, the beautiful Illumicrate box. If you have not ever received anything from Illumicrate, I love their boxes. There's something so satisfying about this orange and their logo is kind of simple and minimal and I really, really like their boxes. I'm going to make some room here just in case we need it. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Some of the stuff I have already semi-opened because I didn't want to fumble too much with scissors on camera, although we are going to have to. So it should be a <laughs> interesting surprise as to whether or not I just massacre myself on camera with scissors. Am I an adult female? Yeah, I am. Okay. Can I handle sharp objects? Depends on the day. So I don't see a card in the box unless it's wrapped up with the book. So I am going to pull Illumicrate up on Instagram and we are going to read what their February theme was together. So for February 2024, Illumicrate's theme was Caged Hearts. Blood and breath flow freely, but the heart is carefully locked away. Our February Illumicrate book is To Cage a God by Elizabeth May. In a world on the brink of war, two sisters with the powers of gods carved into their bones are placed at the head of a growing rebellion seeking to overthrow the tyrannical monarchs. Whilst one sister reunites with a violent rebel leader and estranged lover, the other sister infiltrates the palace and is drawn to the princess she meets there. Both must make a decision between duty and desire in order to burn the corrupt empire down. Adult fantasy, first in a duology, Ooh. say less, say less. I am a duology girly through and through. Oh my God. Okay. Extra excited now. I didn't realize this was going to be a duology. All exclusive cover, foil embossing on the hardback, digitally printed for edge, illustrated end paper, signed by the author and bonus content, female, female, and male, female main relationships, chronic pain and disability with use of mobility aids. Okay. Love all of that. And also why I went ahead and went with the book this month. Depending on the subscription service that you have, you are allowed to skip. Again, depending on the service, some allow you unlimited skips and some allow you only a certain amount of skips per year. Illumicrate, I believe, is unlimited and sometimes I, I just don't love the choices that they make for their books. That is just personal. It's very subjective, but I love that I can still be a part of the subscription service and choose when I really want to spend my money. I think that subscriptions are definitely worth it, especially if you love beautiful books, if you like hardcovers, if you like physical books in general, they are not much more. I mean, I'm going to go to Barnes and Noble and spend $30 on a brand new hardcover book. I might as well get one that is absolutely beautiful, full of different artists that have come together to create this special edition. It is very worth it in my opinion. Okay, so we are going to very carefully, because if I'm being honest, I'm more concerned about the book than myself. Which says a lot about me. Careful. Just enough. Just enough so that we can open it. Oh. Oh my god. I feel like the plastic was just making it, like, dimmed down. It dimmed the beauty of this stunning cover. Brilliant. Look at that foiling. 
Oh my God. Sprayed edges. Wow. This, okay, so officially might be the most stunning sprayed edge book that I have currently. The purple bottom, purple top. Let's go ahead and crack open. I'm just going to very gently remove this dust jacket. It is not a reversible just dust jacket, which is fine. I actually don't, I think that they're stunning, but do I ever take the time to turn over my dust jacket? I have never once done that. So it's not like something that I feel like I'm totally missing, but oh my gosh. Look at the foil on this hardcover. Oh my God. Okay. The end papers. So beautiful. And let's check out the back. <clears throat> oh my God. I love it. This is absolutely stunning. I love the colors. I love the vibe of this book. I like the sister situation as well. It sounds like because we have a female female and a male female relationship ha happening in this book it would sound to me that one sister is involved in one relationship and the other sister is involved in the other i always like the dynamic of something like that um which i don't feel like i get to read a whole lot of but it gives me if you've read akatar and you've gotten like further in like if you've read the whole series um a court of silver flames especially when you get to that part of the book the dynamic of the sisters starts to play a bigger part in the book, and I didn't realize that I would like something like that so much until I read Akatar. So I'm kind of curious to read another book where there is like a sibling situation happening. That to me sounds like a good time. And the author signature. Oh. I am so excited for this. For the weary warriors and the battle scarred, marked by war, but not broken. That's lovely. I am very, you know, I, again, I didn't skip this on purpose because I was like, I think I would really enjoy this book. But now that I've got it in hand and I read through the synopsis again, I am even more geeked up to read this one. I don't know where I'm going to place this yet in the year. I try to keep up with my subscription boxes quite frequently, um, but th it's been a while. It's been a minute, really, since I've gotten all of my subscription boxes for the month at once, so we'll see where this fits in, but I'm really excited to get to this one. I'm going to put this dust jacket back on, and we are going to move on to our next book. All right, so next on our list is one I could not wait to get my hands on, literally get my hands on because I passed it about a hundred times at the bookstore and I was like, don't do it. Don't you grab that book because you know you have it coming and you have the special edition coming and now you're going to have two and your bookshelf is already full and this is a continuous problem that you just put yourself into, Lori. But next on our list is Owl Crate. I also love the boxes too. Every I'm going to say this for everyone. I'm like, I love their simple logo. I love their orange. I love their purple. I mean, it's true. And I will say when I started getting into the subscriptions, I have not enjoyed mail this much since I was probably a young child. Like every month when I get one and I see the like little purple box sticking out on my front porch, I'm like, oh my God, my all crate book is here. I'm so excited. So Without further ado, let's go ahead and open our Owl Crate box together. All right, so the theme for the Owl Crate February Adult Fantasy was Love at First Bite. And if you know, you know. If you've been around for a minute, you know exactly what book was included in this. But I am going to go ahead and read through the <laughs> theme synopsis for you at the back. Love at First Bite. Bride by Allie Hazelwood. February Adult Book is a paranormal romance featuring both mystery and spice. Misery Lark, an outcast vampire, is forced into an arranged marriage with the alpha of werewolves, Low Moreland, and neither of the two expect a happy ending. The cold and calculating vampires have been the sworn enemies of the savage, powerful wares for a very long time, and until now, all efforts at civility have been met with bloodshed from both sides. With secrets of her own and a mystery to unravel, Misery must learn to navigate the tensions of pack life deep in the werewolf territory while staying true to herself. 
When Lo Morland proves to be the opposite of what she was expecting, Misery soon realizes that it's not so easy keeping her emotions locked up. After all, both vampires and werewolves have fangs, and this just might be love at first bite. So excited for this book. Again, the, so there was some, they, Owl Creek was very, very good with communicating, and I will say that about them. So if there's something that's delayed or maybe not panning out exactly in the time frame it was supposed to, they are very good at keeping you up to date with communication on that. And there was some sort of printing issue where they didn't have as many copies printed as they originally thought they did. So there was a delay in shipping. So now it is coming up on the end of March, and I am just receiving this like a couple days ago in the mail, and I had to walk by the book at Barnes & Noble 500 times and I knew I had the special edition coming already so I did not let myself grab that book but I'm so excited to finally have my hands on this book I can't wait to read this I love I could an Allie Hazelwood stan account I might make my entire book too of that just nothing but Allie Hazelwood so she better start pumping out the books because it's going to be nothing but Allie Hazelwood from here on out just kidding please stick around for more. So this exclusive edition will feature the following customizations, exclusive cover design, reversible dust jacket, hardcover case artwork, end papers, signed by the author on page design, and bound author letter, bonus content bound into the book. Oh my god. Oh, there's a playlist. So I kind of totally forgot that they did this. They will do a playlist for their book of the month. I don't know if I can get that to focus. There you go. You can see it a little bit. So it's really cool on um, Spotify. You can find the playlist for whatever book their theme was that month. And it's really interesting if you like a like an atmospheric setting when you read, if you like to put on like ambient noise or just something that kind of like gives you that like vibe of whatever you're reading. I think the playlist is such a really cool touch to do that. All right, let's do this. We are going in. All right, again, we have some plastic on the book. This is a brand spanking new book. Oh, there we go. It's already ripped open. Okay. Whew. Oh my gosh. Look at this cover. This is giving like Regency vibes, but paranormal. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. Okay, the back. They say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. They don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, but I am here for it. Oh my God. I love it. Okay, let's get into this dust jacket. Okay, the dust jacket is reversible. So let's... Okay. Look at this is out of control. I hope you can see that. Okay, what does this other back cover say? I would take anything she chose to give me, the tiniest fraction of her entire world. I'm in love. I'm in love already. So it's so funny because the original book has a dark cover with red text and like red pictures and stuff like that. So I thought this was an interesting choice. They went like the total opposite theme. It's very white and bright and light. But let me tell you what, this dark moody cover is a vibe. I am obsessed. I just got done telling you that I don't usually use reversible dust jackets, but I think I might go with this dark cover. I think I might do it. I don't know. I love them both. Oh, I love them both so much. Ah, <sighs> so pretty. Okay. All right, let's move on to other parts of the book before I just lose it over that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the cover of the book itself is matte. And look at this, it's so cute. They just look like normal people. I love that for me. <laughs> that is a <am> me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Was not expecting that to happen. Holy spice. 
This is a romance, remember. Keep in mind. Love at first bite. Oh my. Okay. Can we talk about how adorable that is? I love how you have two opposite ends of the book. Like, literally, you've got okay spice and then you've got rip my heart out love i am just obsessed i am obsessed let's see what else we have in here i could actually i'm gonna tear up and that's so silly but i love Allie hazelwood so much and i also just love books so so much that i forget Sometimes, like, when you get something like a personal touch, like, I have a few things signed by authors, and every time I glance at them, I'm like, this was... They took the time to do this. They put their mark on this book, not just the story itself, but they left their mark here, and I get to look at it, and I have a book signed by Allie Hazelwood. I can't even believe it. And this beautiful author letter... Oh my god, and she drew a little bat! Get out of here! Can we also talk about the how the main character, the, the FMC in this book, her name is Misery? Didn't know I was missing that in my life. Is that what I'm going to name my firstborn child? Probably. Cover back on. I am going to switch these covers around later, but I think I might go with the dark side cover of this book. I... I just like the vibe. I like the the darkness of the, the the black and the red just gives that vampire paranormal kind of vibe to it. And I just, I, I how many more times can I say vibe? The book is a vibe. Give me the vibes. Love and vibes. And last but not least, boom, baby, the mother of subscription boxes because I somehow ended up on the list for both the adult and the young adult. And when they sent me the email to do it, I was like, mm, do I really need to do both? And then I was like, why would I not do both of these? Again, my thoughts and opinions on subscription boxes, this is just totally subjective, but I was going to buy these books anyways. Back to the whole skipping situation where certain subscription boxes will allow you to skip. Fairy Loot does allow you to skip, but only for a certain amount of times during the year. And if you do have a dual subscription box, you can't choose to skip like the adult and then get the young adult. You will have to skip both or receive both, which that does kind of stink. I wish there was a way to maybe get around that because you're not always going to like both in each month. But most of the time, the choices that I've seen from Fairy Loot, which is why I got on the list and why I jumped at the opportunity to do both subscriptions, is because the history of their picks for books during the month, I have always almost wanted. So that was already like setting me up for success for the subscription box. But this was my first month, I believe, for both. So I couldn't even believe it when the box came and it was big. Like, it's a thick girl. She thick. It didn't even fit in my nail box. That's how big it was. So I'm very excited to open this and go through it with you. We are going to do one at a time. Um, disclaimer, one of these has already been opened and I have already read the book. It was part of my March TBR. So I did display it in my March TBR video. I will link that down below per usual, but we are going to go through the entire book here together because I didn't really display the book in that video. I just kind of showed you the cover and then the synopsis of the book, but we are going to do that all again together. So one of the things they do for their books, which I really love, is they put each book in this little protective bag, which sounds silly and it's a small thing but it gives it a it makes it feel important and like they care but there's something like valuable to it like they know you're spending money on their books and they want it to be kind of handled with care especially in the shipping process because lord knows i have gotten lots of books in the mail just regular books from amazon or other things and i've had water damage, I've had ripped edges, you name it, it's happened to a book in the mail. So it's just, a, it's nice when you're spending the money on these things for them to kind of take the time themselves to care that you are spending the money on these things. So we are going to go ahead and slip this off. All right. So starting with the February theme for the Fairy Loot Adult was Vikings. 
And the book for this month was A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel Jensen. In this Norse-inspired fantasy romance, our heroine, Freya, possesses a drop of a goddess's blood. She is desperate to prove her strength and unite a fractured nation, all whilst resisting her forbidden attraction to the king's son. So I went into more detail on this one in my March TBR video, and I will also go into more detail in my March wrap-up. But basically, this is a Nordic setting, and we follow our main character, Freya, who, as described, has a drop of goddess blood and is forced into a marriage with a king, and she is basically used to try to bring this nation of people together. And along the way, a lot of things occur, like a lot of battles and loss of life and internal battles as well for her as a character. And it was a very, very good book. It was a true adult fantasy. I thought the world building was really good and the characters I absolutely loved. And again, that Nordic setting, which I will not stop talking about in my TBR. And also, it's part of one of my weekly blogs, so I will link that video as well. Uh, where you can get every single thought and opinion on this book from me. I just didn't realize that I, I I wanted that. It gave a lot of like mythology vibes to it, like Thor and Loki and like that kind of situation, but it just was very perfectly atmospheric and I really, really enjoyed it. First of all, I forgot about the um, author's note, but it came with this beautiful character art. We love, we love. And then the book itself. Holy moly, look at the detail. Look at the foiling. Look at the gold. I can't. So beautiful. And the back. Born in fire, chosen by the gods, it was foretold she would unite a nation. But unfated weave their own destiny, even if what they want is forbidden. And she wants him. I love it. I already know what happens, but I still love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's talk about the sprayed edges. These are just beautiful. I love the detail that went into this to try to really represent the Norse type like shields and axes. I don't know. It's just absolutely beautiful. Go into the book itself. So this one does not have a reversible dust jacket, but it does have a very stunning cover underneath with Again, the gold foiling that even on camera, you just can't get the detail that goes into these books. I mean, try as I might, they just look better in person. I will say that, but we are trying our best. Ugh. Okay, and then the end papers, again, that character art, so beautiful. So our main character, Freya. And then on the back, we have our MMC, Bjorn. And yes, they are described as very beautiful people in this book. And from this artwork, they did a real good job at making them look like beautiful people. All right, so that was Fairy Loot Adult for the month of February. Also, what do you, how do you guys feel about dust jackets? Like when you get a hardcover book, book. Do you keep the dust jacket on when you're reading? Do you take it off? I actually, as wild as it sounds, because sometimes they can be a little annoying, um, I prefer to read the book with the dust jacket on. I don't know why it feels wrong when I take it off and it's naked and I'm like, ooh, should I be touching you with my bare hands? I don't know if that's right. Um, but I am always curious to see what people think because they'll, I'll see people sometimes in their own booktube videos, they'll be like holding a book up and talking about it. I'm like, what book is that even? I realize that they have taken the dust jacket off, so I know that there are people out there that do it. And last but not least, our A Fairy Loot Young Adult book. Again, in our beautiful protective sleeve, which I love, love, love. All right, we are gonna start with the card. Beautiful character art on this card. The February young adult theme was A Moth to the Flame. And the book is The Crimson Moth by Kristen Siccarelli. The first book in an enemies to lovers fantasy duology. Stop it. Stop it with the duologies. I mean, don't stop. Oh my God, I love a duology. Man, I feel like 
there was this trend for a long time of fantasy series having to be long, 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 which I don't hate also, but man, your girl loves a duology. So I am here for this entire month of February. All right, sorry. The first book in an enemies to lovers fantasy duology where a witch and a witch hunter try to outsmart one another. Join our fiercely intelligent heroine in trying to rescue her kind whilst navigating a tense game of cat and mouse. Your Fairy Loot Exclusive Edition has exclusive redesigned covers, reversible dust jacket, digitally sprayed edges, solid sprayed top and bottom edge, a foil design, foiled artwork on the end papers, and an author letter bound into the book with a digital signature. Okay, first of all, we talked about it being a duology. Enemies to lovers, check. Also, a witch and a witch hunter. Oh my god, I love the sound of this book so, so much. And I've heard nothing but good things. Like, truly, this book seems to have taken a lot of people by surprise. So it is a young adult fantasy. And I think that can sometimes be iffy for people. I know it is for me. Um, because some young adult fantasy reads very young, more towards that middle grade setting. And that's not my favorite. But from what I've read about this one, it is your classic YA, so more of a, a traditional YA, real young adult people as the characters in the book. And also, I just love the whole witch and witch hunter thing. I just love a witchy vibe in a book. If you know anything about me, you know I have a thing with witches. I have a um, planchette tattoo on my arm from a Ouija board, so I'm into the occult and stuff like that. I don't know if I should be saying that out loud in my YouTube videos. Let's get on. To the book, if you have not seen this yet, welcome to one of the most beautiful things you've probably looked at this month. I mean, get out of here. Look at her hair. I wonder if her hair, her hair must be described like that in the book. It's like a strawberry blonde or like probably like a rose gold or something. And at the sprayed edges. Am I going to get a moth tattoo after this book? Because I was like, I think I kind of want a butterfly tattoo. But now I'm probably going to change it because of one book that I've read in my lifetime. To be determined. But the rest of the edges are dark. I love dark sprayed edges. I just, I, I just like dark. Dark is a thing for me. I just love them so much. Okay, so this one did say reversible dust jacket. So let's go ahead and look at the other side. Oh my god. Oh, I mean, the detail, the colors, it's not even, like, I don't think it's black. I think it's almost, like, so dark blue that it looks black. And I love the balance of the black in this, like, rose gold pinky purple. A moth to the flame, a witch to burn. Stunning. All right, let's set this to the side and the book itself. Okay, beautiful matte cover with gold foiling. Oh my gosh. We love it. We love the foiling. And the back, the moth again. I don't think I would get tired of looking at it. I just really like the moth. Are these like the most beautiful people you've ever seen? They're not even real. Also, we have our author letter and then our digital signature as well. This just looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to crack this open. All right, so we're going to slip this dust jacket back on. And now I'm laughing to myself because didn't I just start this video with you saying, I don't really know if I care about reversible dust jackets. They're not really my thing. I've never really been into them or it's not like a priority for me. And also at the same time, I'm now like, what side of the dust jacket do I want on these books that I just got? <laughs> this was such a good month and I was really excited to do a video with this because I knew I was getting everything that I had a subscription to. So that was everything from Illumicrate to Owlcrate to Fairy Loot Adult and Young Adult. Four books, four beautifully done special editions with cover art and author signatures that made me tear up in the middle of a video, which is weird. But honestly, it was like a really good book haul and a good book mail month. All right, you guys, there you have it. My unboxing 
one for the month of February for all of the subscriptions that I have. I want to know if you have read any of these books and what your thoughts and opinions on those books were, or do you belong to any of these subscription boxes? Did you receive any of these special editions? Or what are your thoughts and opinions on subscription boxes in general? As always, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because it always helps a girl out. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss any upcoming videos like my monthly wrap ups or all the weekly vlogs I do where I actually spend time reading all of these books along with you guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. As always, it has been an absolute blast and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.